Morning. Cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you too. Happy Saturday, everybody. Well, here we are again. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> well, hello everyone. Thank you for being here today. We appreciate that. Um, we do have an update for the fire and Tom has something he wants to say. So we'll get to that later on in the video. Um, thank you for being here and watching. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and click that little bell to make sure that we get you notified when we put out a new video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. And share us with your friends that you want to torment. Because we read every comment and we try to respond to every single comment. I caught some the other day from a video that was like four years old. Uh oh. And I don't know how I missed it, but I responded, and the person I responded to responded back and said, It took you long enough. I said, I never saw it pop up. <laughs> so that's why. And they replied and they said, well, hey, at least you responded. So we do try to respond to everything. There we so. go. So last uh, last Saturday after we chatted with you, um, Tom did his video stuff and it was just kind of rainy. And so mm -hmm. we just kind of puttered around. We were still in quartzite, quartzite. At quartzite. That, on that yep. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we just kind of puttered around. Didn't do a whole heck of a lot mm -hmm. on Sunday. I did some craft supply stuff. And um, you did some RV maintenance. Yeah, a you little were... bit. Just piddle, farting around, doing stuff. Yeah, just, you know, there's always little things to do. Tightening screws. We have two slide toppers that are barely hanging on by threads. So you did some securing of those. Yeah. And, um, and then we got to watch a baseball game. So yeah. yay for baseball season. Almost here. It's been spring training, and we've been enjoying the games that they have been televising. This coming week. Season yep. kicks off. Yay! It's Thursday, well, right? our season kicks off. The season has already started. Well, yeah, because the Dodgers have yeah. been playing overseas. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't understand why they did it, and now they're back doing spring training games, and it's like, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. Baseball just <laughs> wants to spread the baseball cheer all around the world. Yeah. So that's why they call it the World Series, I guess. But it's not. Yeah. We digress. That is a whole nother video, a whole nother subject. Um, on Monday, we were getting ready for a travel day, but we went to go visit our friends Merton and Sue from yes. Traveling Merton and Sue and their new baby puppies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They have two little the new Boston Well, Merton and Sue are cute too in their own way, right? <laughs> But the puppies are uh, Boston Terriers, and they had um, already picked out going to get the female. And when they got there and they met her brother, well, they just had to take him, too. And yeah. I think they're really glad they did. I'm glad they did. The, the two puppies have play together. fun together. Um, I think it's a big help for them yeah. to have their, their, their sibling with them. Yeah. Some, you know, something that they're familiar with. So um, we had a wonderful visit with them, and we won't get to see them for be a year, probably. Well, not a year, but it'll be. Well, it'll be yeah, it'll be later this, on this year, this winter. Yeah, that's true. Yep, <clears throat> yep, yep. And We're so, already talking about this winter. Ah, uh, we haven't <laughs> even left the south yet. <laughs> um, on uh, Tuesday was our uh, travel day. We left Quartzsite and we went to Lake Havasu City. Um, we stayed at the Lake Havasu Gravel Pit. And um, for the first time for the ever, first time they have a camp post there, and they are monitoring. And so they put this tag on your vehicle, it says that it's a 14-day camping limit, uh, the camping area, so the gravel pit. So they must be doing it all around the Havasu area, probably Craggy Wash Maybe, we and don't the know. other places. Well, because it does ask for your camping area oh. specific. So, and it's the Lake Havasu field office. So they must be monitoring the and areas. The thing is, the lady filled this out, and I guess she was just going to put it on our truck under the windshield mm -hmm. wiper mm -hmm. because she didn't knock on the door or anything. They kind of go around to everybody and check that you've got this. Yep, so it's got, you know, our, our uh, RV and license plate, 
in the expiration date of the, our pass for the 14-day limit. We were just kind of shocked. So, yeah. Because all the times we've stayed there, we've never seen anybody or anything like this. And there have been a few of those that look like they've been there for months and months and months. And now it's all cleaned up. And, yeah. you know, if they and, enforce the 14-day, they enforce it. And it's almost like... They, being the BLM, went around and kind of set up fire pits because there were some, you know, the bigger rocks than you find in that area. And they're like in kind of designated little areas. Little I mean, sites. You can park wherever, yeah. but they seem like they're trying to define a little bit of yeah. where uh, camping they, sites are. They actually are. made, it really does look like they made RV sites with these campground fire pits yeah because it so. looks they look like they're built all the same with mm -hmm. all the same kind of rock but anyway it's kind of kind of neat thing great. and you know i'll be we'll be the first to say we've busted that 14 day rule in the past in certain places we don't move in and set up shop and make it look like we've been there forever mm -hmm. but hey i'm all for enforcing a 14 day limit if that's what it is that's what yeah. it is this year we were really good the only time we weren't was when we were doing the solar install mm -hmm. so but uh, not that that excuses it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so um, we just kind of hung out, had a relaxing afternoon. We didn't go anywhere after we um, set up. We just kind of went for a little walk around. And then the next day on Wednesday was another travel day. And we left Lake Havasu and came to Boulder Beach Campground, where we are now. Boulder City. Yep. Just Boulder outside City, of on, Vegas. On Lake Mead, at Lake Mead. And... Um, we did make a little stop in between for fuel and lunch and stuff. That way, when we got here, we didn't have the hangries, and it's a good thing because oh. we had a little bit of difficulty maneuvering in our site. But well, it's not difficult. We had some issues. <laughs> of course, I had issues. Well, I always have issues. My first <clears throat> issue was when we got here. Well, we got a video coming out. I know. On. Okay. I know. Don't but let them know now. Okay. Yeah, watch this Wednesday's video. It comes out at 2 o'clock Pacific Time Wednesday. And we did kind of complain. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay, we need to reset our attitudes, really, I think. You know yes, what? We were, we were very, if I can use the word, critical. So you'll find out Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Yeah, if you want to leave us some more comments. <laughs> yeah. You'll have an opportunity. <laughs> You'll have a great opportunity this Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can yell at me again. <laughs> so Thursday morning, um, I went and got a haircut, finally. <clears throat> I have not had a haircut since we left Reno in October. Yeah, so she finally, won't let me, oh she won't let me trim it. <sighs> I feel human again, and not a ragamuffin. ragamuffin. And I had to color it, and oh, it just feels so much better. Don't you feel better when you feel better about yourself? Just your attitude change. See, no more complaining. My attitude's changed. I'm not a frumpy dumpy anymore. <laughs> frumpy dumpy? Yeah. <laughs> frumpy dumpy. Maybe uh, that's my problem. Maybe, huh? I don't know. <laughs> You're a frumpy dumpy. <laughs> so, sadly, Thursday was the day of the um, camper trailer. Just two RVs from us caught on fire. Yeah very very sad we feel so horrible for the lady and her children whose home it was and um you've got more to say okay we we put up a a video about it just a raw video uh raw footage of the end of the fire okay the fire had been going before we ever started that video and the comments we got were slamming me for being so negative about the fire department, the Boulder City Fire Department, so BCFD. Yeah, I understand everybody what you've tried to explain to me, and you all are right, and I was wrong. I should have never said, where are they? Why aren't they here? What's taking so long? I went off and just kind of on a little tangent like that, you all are right. Um, VD Chauffeur 3606 says, Wow, the more I listen to you, the more angry I get at your complaints. You have no idea what it takes. Uh, there, there were so many like that. 
I just came across your video and Cindy Rose 4155 said, why aren't the other RV owners, including yourself, out there with fire extinguishers? I've seen RV fires before. There are tons of fire extinguishers on most RVs. Sometimes you can't just sit and wait. you got to jump in and help. Well, part of our problem was we didn't know the fire was going until Lori saw the park ranger with their lights and siren come up behind us. And by then, it was too late by then. It was already engulfed in flames. Yeah. So there was no getting a hose out, hooking it up or anything. It was just sitting and waiting for the fire department, which I didn't understand at that point. But after reading all the comments, and I think there's a couple firefighters who actually commented on our video that explained it in great detail, now I understand why it took so long. You know, that's just the way it is. So, for that, I am sorry. I, in the, in the moment, I just went, where are they? You know, and just, that's, hey, that's Tom. Tom speaks before this ever goes into gear. And that's a problem. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Quite a bit of the time. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Um, just, so, just so everybody knows, let me, let me read this one comment here. This is from One Mother Eagle KLM, Karen. And not Karen in the way people use it negatively. Her name is Karen. She is the owner of the rig. She says, it was ours. All our most cherished belongings. Not sure if I even have replacement value for my policy. As an older single adoptive mom of my youngest four children, this is hitting hard. I am just thankful that it happened during the day and that they are all safe. That's the bottom line. There were no injuries. There were kids or a kid inside the rig when the fire started inside the rig. Yeah, it's And major. everybody got out safe. Everybody is unharmed. The rig is a total loss, of course. And our hearts go out to Karen and her family. And I thank you guys for watching that video and for commenting and for my mistakes. I hope. I was just surprised. I hope you can. Uh, Sounds like it's raining. It is. Still watch our channel and uh, I was forgive me for jumping off the deep end. That the rangers, because this is a national parks recreation area, I'm surprised that the park rangers didn't have any kind of fire fighting equipment on their trucks. They didn't even have a fire extinguisher Nothing. on their truck. When we worked for the Corps of Engineers, our ranger had firefighting equipment on his truck. So that's why I think part of our amazement at there was nothing to do. No one could do anything until the actual fire department got here. And then the one hydrant is way far away from most of the park. Yeah. So. And, and I, I even commented on several people's comments that... The fire department complained about this park in particular. The design. The design of it because the fire, the fire hydrant is all the way at the top. They had to run over a thousand feet of hose just to get to the middle of the park, not the very end of the park. Yeah. So it's just crazy. So. Okay, we're done. We're done. We feel very sad for yeah. Karen and her family. Yes, we do. So. Um, on uh, Friday, like I said, I got to color my hair. Yay! <laughs> wash that gray away. Oh my gosh! What and was that old jingle? That you gotta wash that gray right, right out of your hair. hair. Gotta wash that gray right. Uh, and, yep, that's what I did. Well, I'm that old. <laughs> <laughs> and the the anyway, <laughs> the song is from the King and I. But um, I know you worked on some video stuff yesterday, and you were fielding comments and yeah. and all that, and. Uh, then we went for a walk around outside, and it was weird because up here where we are in the campground, it was just a little breezy, but when we got past, like, all the trees right here out into the brush, it was super windy getting, down there. Getting close to Lake Mead. Yeah, getting closer to the lake. It was windy. It really made a difference. Yep, and we just kind of walked around, explored. We like look trying to look at other sites to see which ones will work <laughs> yeah. good for us. Um, as far as trees go, there are a lot of trees in mm -hmm. here. And, you know, there's there's no services here. For they solar. Do, they do have uh, a dump station. They do have water outlets available scattered throughout the park. <clears throat> but they're little tiny water outlets. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, we were looking at sites, like Lori said, that don't have a lot of shade. And 
We found two to three, maybe four, that are excellent sunspots. Yep. It's just kind of hard to get them because this is a reservation-only park now. Yep. So. And there are quite a few sites that um, are blocked off. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, they've so, got them. They've got cones up, and they've got them blocked and off. See, and see, not every single site has a water spigot. They're just sporadic yeah. throughout. But those particular sites actually have power and water, and they look like they would be for a, a camp, post. camp post. Only they don't have signs that say they're camp posts. Yeah. There are a couple of them. There are no camp posts here right now. None. None. So, which we were surprised about. Also, kind yeah. of explains the condition of some things, but. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Which you'll see on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, but it is a it's a lovely place and it's good proximity to Las Vegas. Yeah, gives and, us a chance to see some friends in Vegas and yeah. and do whatever we need to do. Yep. Reprovision. Yeah, we definitely need to do that too. So, so it's almost three weeks. That's pretty good. I know you don't want it monthly, but we don't have to do a great big one. We just need a few things. <laughs> we try to try to go to Walmart one time a month now, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all know how expensive everything is. And um, the thing is, uh, like with fresh vegetables and that kind of thing, you know, they don't last a month or three weeks. Uh, Dave can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. He gets a lot of that, and he does his grocery shopping once a, a month, except for, you know, uh, little fill-in things. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so we are enjoying it here. Um, yeah. We have some friends that are actually arriving here today. Yeah. Curtis and Mary. So Can't we're excited wait. to see them. Good to see again. them again. That's yes. awesome. Yep, yep. And then we're hoping Bob and Pearl will make it here before, before we, leave, we leave. But we're not sure. They've got some projects they're still working on at home. Yeah. And uh, trying to get ready for their summer adventures. Yes, yes, they are. So. We do not know where we are headed next. No, we're here we still for don't. two weeks. We, we still, still have don't. another week and a half. Here. We got another week and a half to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. We'll probably decide the day before. It's like, well, we have to be out of here tomorrow. Where are we going? <laughs> That's the I know of we're it. not going north. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> hey, it's snowing. It, it, in Rachel. It, it's what snowing. It? I heard, I oh, heard north, north. Area 51 was getting some snow. <laughs> and <laughs> it's light snow, but it's still snow. You saw a video somebody posted this morning about it snowing near Reno. Oh, outside of Reno, up by Truckee, it's snowing. They had chain controls on Interstate 80 again already. I guess the next two weeks, there's more super storms coming in <laughs> off of the Pacific that's going to drop between 5 and 10 feet of snow in the Sierra again. So, yep, so it's just great. Well, I'm not in any hurry. <laughs> We're just going to have to keep circling around the same area that might have decent Kinda weather. like an airplane. It can't land. We're just going to circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, where can we go? <laughs> we so, got a week and a half to figure that yep, out. Yep. All right. All right, it's everybody. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time. <laughs> now that Kaylee came and got herself yeah. comfortable on my lap. That always happens. Um, everybody, you have a fantastic week, and we will see ya. Take your banner and raise it to the sky. Good oh, morning, you, Bear Bear. You're such a pretty girl. Are you ready for breakfast? <laughs> huh? Are you ready for breakfast? You ready to eat some breakfast? Hmm? Oh, That's a good girl. I love chin scratches. Kaylee. Are you ready for second or third breakfast? Huh? Are you? Yeah, okay. <laughs>